For the long time, I wanted to get one of these smart locks. In this case, this is a smart lock from a brand WeLock. Uh, I wanted a smart lock for, for my basement workshop. In the packaging, you get the lock itself. More about it later. You get uh, key tags with majority of tools needed for installation. I want to focus on the lock itself now. It is really well made. Uh, half metal housing with this plastic top part fingerprint sensor uh, on the top side with uh, single control button this is a door inner side uh, key lock which is non-stop controlling the uh, the lock mechanism uh, this uh, part is going outside so when you get to the door you wake up the device it scans your finger and voila, you can unlock your door. Uh, you can choose the duration of how much uh, is lock activated. It's deactivated right now. And you can see that it is not possible to unlock the door anymore. I won't go too much into uh, how to assemble and disassemble the device. What I need to tell you it is, it is that you have the app with it, you can control semi-control uh, the, the unit itself, but the main controls are on the unit. So you need to long press wake up button. In this case, I need to authenticate because I already set the uh, my fingerprint and you can see here that you have all controls needed. These controls are not available on the app, sadly. So you need to do this all on the device itself. In this case, I already added my fingerprint and the fingerprint of the second user. So I want to, 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 to add the card. And in this case, this card is added. We're going to wait for the smart lock to to end this, so let's wake it up. And it unlocked, so it works. One more thing before we start with installation. Uh, on the front, there is a rubber door. It uses 3A batteries when you remove this door. I won't do that right now because there is nothing special inside, basically three 3A batteries. Uh, the charging port is not the charging port, it is the port if your batteries die, so, so you can use a power bank to activate uh, the lock itself so you can unlock the door, which is quite a smart. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I would recommend you to check out uh, their website with the pricing and all important details. I just want to show you how this works. Overall, the device is really sturdy, nearly all metal made, quite a nice. Let's start with the installation. This is the door where we're gonna do installation. So the scanner part is going on this side, outside, and the inner part is getting that fixed latch. In my case, uh, removal of the cylinder should be quite easy because we I have a, sec a security screw, which when removed, I should be able to remove the cylinder quite easily. Okay, the locking mechanism is removed. You also can see here that there is a security screw hole, so it is the same standard. It is important to know what to buy. So let's disassemble this and put it inside. Hopefully everything should go inside smoothly. And Yes, it does. It, it went more smoothly inside than my old lock. So that is a good thing, definitely. What you want to do now is to adjust a mechanism on the spot where it can actually start to Okay, at this point, you want to screw in that security screw and align everything and hopefully it should work at that point. 
This is definitely the hardest part of the job. I recommend you to get a light and align the holes of the lock with this hole here and it should be a lot easier to screw it in like, like I just did because I was doing it uh, a harder way because I was doing a harder way without need this is on the video it looks like I did it from the first time but I was actually doing it a hard way for like 20 minutes okay that should you see This is how it looks from this side. It works really smooth. There is, there is a bit of protruding here, but that is not a problem. You don't really want for the lock to be too close to the um, to the mask here. So let's get back that mask and mount everything up. This is how the front side looks where you get in. This is the back side. It detached. Now it doesn't work. A real world application, so I'm inside. Side. Locked. This is when the mechanism is unlatched completely. So let's unlock it. And that's it. The only downside for me is that it is a bit close to the door side, but not a big deal. Overall, quite a cool product depending what you need you also have the app you have you can control the device with it you also have a tags which you can give uh, to who you want to provide access quite a versatile device